<laughs> How you doing? At 3 4 here at Great Sci-Fi. Uh, today, I'm at the coffee shop because I want to talk about stuff. I always say this, got to get out of the office, um, out in the world once in a while, because when we're making, we tend to be <laughs> in a tunnel focused. So you got to get outside sometimes. So today, I'm excited. Today, I want to talk to you about casting a minor celebrity. Um, that's something that can really help your low or no budget project, micro budget, can help you to get a budget. And uh, especially when you're starting from zero, it's going to help to generate interest uh, for your project online or at festivals. Um, so it's a really great way to elevate the status of your project. Uh, historically, Quentin Tarantino, right, was a master at this in his early days with Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction. Just getting, you know, these people that we're aware of uh, or we haven't seen in a while and then um, highlighting them, showcasing them. Well, you know, we love that as a theater-going uh, public. We really, really enjoy that. So, um, what I'm about to talk about is, is casting a, a, a minor celebrity, right? And it's really a boon to get people like that um, into your show. I mean, I think about these roles when casting like a boss or somebody of high status that we check in with occasionally and they have a big hand in the plot, but they don't necessarily have to be there all the time. And it's twofold. Also, too, with these people, I always try to write it where we can just come in one day and shoot them out and then pepper that performance throughout the whole film or throughout the whole series. But here's the important information. This is what you need. So you're going to have to have IMDb Pro or know somebody that has it. So then you go to the IMDb Pro page. You find a listing for a manager or an agent. Manager is preferable because they tend to have a more personal relationship with their clients. If it's just an agent, then of course use the agent. Now for the record, I live in Los Angeles and the procedure I'm about to share with you is something um, that was shared with me by a, a professional producer, somebody who's done this on a, on a higher level, right? Um, so I'm, I'm confident in this approach and um, not to sound like a, a jerk, like I live in LA, and, but that's the truth. It's like I live here and I have access to people um, who have a lot of knowledge when it comes to this. So I'm just sharing with you uh, what was shared with me. So in a nutshell, basically what it is, is the manager is the gatekeeper to the talent that you want to access. And people don't think about that. It's really a two-pronged approach. You want this particular actor, but first you have to work on their manager. So think about it. Like uh, the manager gets 10%, 15%, whatever they get. It's, it's low when it's no budget, right? If they're getting into a big feature film where their client's making $50,000, $100,000 for their performance, then that's their business and they're working. I have this script I'm passionate about. I wrote it specifically for this actor. It's going to be great. It's an awesome role for them. But to get it to them, the manager is a business person. And you're basically saying, well, you know, you're, you're going to make you know, $25 off of this. They're not really motivated to, to do that. So what you do, and I'm gonna post this uh, below, is, uh, so you can copy and paste it, is you, is you write a letter to the manager saying, look, uh, I'm interested in, in your actor, and you know, be sincere. You can't just do a, a cover letter, right? And insert name here. It's like, talk about why you really wanna have this person. And then you're gonna offer them uh, a management fee of 20% on top of whatever you're paying the actor. So if you're paying the actor, um, you know, $500, so they would get their 10%, say, which would be $50, but you're saying on top of that, you're going to give them another 20%. So what it's doing is it's, it's letting them know that you value their time and you're taking your project, you're taking this business seriously. It's still not a lot of money to them, but um, it's the same thing that I talk about when, when casting uh, for low budget. It's goodwill goes a long way, right? Even though you can't pay a person what they're worth, you one, acknowledge that I can't pay you what you're worth and I appreciate your time. And two, you, you pay some sort of token payment, uh, a gesture of good faith. So, uh, like I said, I have the letter below um, in, the, in the 
description, you can copy and paste that and make it your own, but it'll give you a good idea. Certainly you're gonna pay a lot more than you had in mind and you're gonna have to jump through hoops, but I think it's worth it because people, their, their imaginations are limited when it comes to uh, wanting to grasp something they've never heard of or seen before, right? So like in the case of Galactic Galaxy, I would say, oh, it's a sci-fi saga about a space werewolf who gets involved with a space trucker and they rob a space disco and fulfill their destinies, right? And that's interesting, that's exciting. But in my case, because it's a web series, early on in web series, there was a, a very famous web series called The Guild uh, by Felicia Day. It was very popular, um, millions and millions of views. And there was one particular character on that show called Vork. And I really liked that character. And then I really liked the actor. And then I would follow his work and he did a, a great show called the Jeff Lewis uh, Five Minute Comedy Hour. Um, so he's a very talented guy. And I started writing my role with him in mind. And it's a cliche, but I've talked about this before. I, I wrote that role with him in mind and I presented it to him as such. And you know, I had legitimately watched all his work. I was a fan and I offered him the role. Um, it was a, a little bit more than I had in the budget, but I thought it was worth it with him. And he's fantastic and you can see that series, it's done now. Also too, you might want to consider uh, beyond an actor. I had uh, one of our writing team on Galactic Galaxy was Charles Horn, who was a writer on Robot Chicken. So what does this do for me? So now when I'm pitching my show, I say it's a sci-fi comedy. And I say, do you remember that show, The Guild? And they say, oh yeah. I say, oh, well, Jeff Lewis from The Guild in that. They say, ah. I say, did you ever see Robot Chicken? They go, oh yeah, yeah. I go, oh, we had one of the writers on board. So these things just help, especially when you're starting out, right? It's, I, I, I wish it wasn't that way, but it's the way it is and it helps. Anything that helps uh, to move the ball forward, right? And I'm just sharing the information that I have with you. Um, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love to read the comments. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember the, um, the letter that I talk about, I, I put a rough version of that in the description below to help you get started. And just remember, I'm here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>